What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and I know you're thinking how many damn Packers rebuilds does this guy need to do? Well, I gotta keep doing them until you like and subscribe until it gets about 500 likes or more. <laughs> that's, that's just self-promotion. But, however, this will be the last Packers thing I do, okay? It's enough, alright? Unless Rogers announces a, uh, you know, surprise retirement if we lose tomorrow. Well, today, technically, later today then, yeah, I'll do one then. But until then, this will be the last one. I'm not fully sure what we're going to do here. We're going to definitely sim the draft. Depending on how bad it is, we might do a fantasy. If it's not too bad, we'll have to do sim style. I do want to do a fantasy draft sim with realistic style as well. But for right now, this is what we're going to do. Pick six. Who is there? Obviously, we're not going to take them. I'm just curious to see, like, who are they going to get? You know, the AI is not probably going to make a terrible decision, but you never know. All right, just so you guys know, I'm not cheating. To the end of the draft we go. I don't know. You know, we don't even know who the first pick is, and I obviously can't click B. Listen, I guess that could be here. That sounds like all the buttons, right? I need a new controller. Thanks, guys. All right, what's the verdict here? Okay, 83 overall. That's actually pretty decent. Who did they land? Obviously, we'll have to try to guess. Ooh, Jimmy Garoppolo, huh? Just had to do it to me, yay, huh? Just had to freaking do it. I will take DeAndre Hopkins, though. That's a really good pick. Uh, 27 years old. I mean, that's perfectly fine for this. Hayden Hurst, not a bad tight end either. 26, not really going to develop too much, but definitely a good starter. They did not land a good line. I don't know how high they took Jonah and Titus, but yeah, they did not land a good line at all. But because they took the, you know, these two, I would assume they waited, so... Even though I think some of the rounds, the offensive line is the best to go for, this could be a stacked defense. Oh my god, they suck. What the hell is this? What did they do? Okay, we gotta do a fantasy style. I was gonna do sim style. Next one, we'll do a sim. Next time we do one. I'm not gonna do, you know, I'm not gonna guarantee we do one, a fantasy draft next, but... Oh my lord, this is so bad. How are we in 83 overall? What did we do? What? Let's take a look at some of the other teams. Te Texans, Jair, Kareem, Cooper, DJ Moore. I mean, just first glance, I'll take this team over ours. Oh, definitely. It gets better as it goes on. Excuse me. Derek Henry. All right, so here's... Uh, oh, the Vikings. Hello. Travis, Kelsey, and Patrick Mahomes. Got some offensive linemen. Nick Chubb. That is a stacked roster. Damn, son. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. But uh, if we have any sort of trade value, we're going to try to make some trades. Realistically, trying to go for uh, draft picks if we can. Uh, so, ooh, Hakeem Butler might be better than half the damn receivers we have. But, yeah, this is a rough roster. Even even though we're going to do this fantasy side, it's still going to be tough. Also, if I didn't mention it, the other reason why I want to do uh, the Packers again is because uh, this is probably the last time they're going to be relevant until the offseason. Uh, I really hope we win, but god damn if I don't believe that it's not going to happen. We train Wayne Gallman, Lake, and Tomlinson in a fourth next year for the Colts' first pick this year. And was that a third pick this year? Maybe should have just went for a second next. But yeah, their starting quarterback is Andy Dalton. Their team is probably worse than ours, but I literally just went off of... Uh, what team gave us two green interests, and that was the only one for those two players. I wanted a damn lineman. They don't want to take uh, these guys for a lineman, but we'll take their third pick projection. That's the thing that's rough about these, is even though you can get some decent picks, who the hell has what, you know? Yeah, this was probably a bit of an overtrade. A second, a third in R Richburg for Christian Kirk. I accidentally kept on the second when I was trying to trade a running back instead. I was trying to trade Ken John Barner. Yikes! Trade Ellington, Hakeem Butler, and Barner for first round this year, fourth round next year. Uh, I allowed us to use Butler as a trade piece just because of the accidental trading of the second round, even though it was completely my fault. Uh, I think we have the th starting three receivers for the rest of this thing. Kirk will be number two, Westbrook at number three. We'll trade the rest of these guys if they're any any value of all at all. We'll uh, we'll just get some free agents. No more using free agents for trades unless it's like several years down the line. So obviously I'm not going to be able to keep track of all that. Who do you think I am? We trade all this for Elton Jenkins, who's uh, hopefully worth it. He went pretty high in development last time. Well, overall for us last time. 
We have four first round picks this year. I don't even remember getting that many. Yeah, we're doing all right. It's not bad. We trade two thirds, one this, one next, and Suafilo for the Bills first round pick, adding yet another one. I don't know if we have our pick still, but I'm debating whether or not I think it's going to be good. I'm 50-50. I'm I don't think it's the best possible, but I also don't think it's going to be... Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be that good of a team. This caused it a lot more than I thought it would, and it probably wasn't worth it. But they are two old players that could literally drop down like five overalls at the end of the year, so meh. The way I look at it is... That was basically pick 28, well, a late first round for an 85 overall 25-year-old guard, which I believe finishes the line. We have three really low overall guys. I'd say Cody Ford sits at center, and then everyone else has potential. So, I mean, it works out for me. Jared Fowler and a fourth for the Texans second round pick. Hopefully this is good enough for the trade I'm trying to complete. We have 57, 145, and Colvin for 44, which hopefully this one works. The other one wasn't enough. There we go. 44, Cody Ford, and Sean Nassie for Tri Turner. Once again, I basically see that as, uh, you know, a mid-second for a better guard because Cody Ford is pretty much useless in the game. I had no idea they would give this, give 37 for this. All right, I'll take it. we will be down to our final moves or just no moves at all. Because these guys are pretty bad. But maybe we can swindle them. They're pretty cheap though, too. Yeah, if we don't have any interest, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it there, get some backups, set up the team best as I can, assuming we don't have our own pick, and I don't know, maybe we could surprise ourselves. Damn it, we do have our own pick. 17. Let's see if I can look around this the league and see if I find a team that sucks. There we go. I think this is gonna be a really good pick. I think uh, based on just the way the rosters look, these four picks could easily all be in the top 10, which would be major. 81 overall, you know, we took a little bit of a dip, but overall we have, what, three or four first rounds, a second round pick, and we made a better team. We got Christian Kirk on the team. Offensive line is all star and better. Not better, just literally star. <laughs> uh, let's see, offense, you know, offense looks like it's potent enough. Defense, however... A bit of a problem. Maybe we're actually a better overall than I thought because we do have to move this to a 4-3, obviously. DT is going to suck, but linebackers are good enough in a 3-4. Not 4-3, anyways. Jesus. And Adrian Amos. Keep forgetting about him. It's one guy I like, just didn't acknowledge. That's a good pick. He's very hard to trade for, Matt, that's all I can tell you. I don't know why I'm so hyped for this because it's probably not going to happen, but Christian Kirk with a breakout. Yep, I knew it. God damn it. <laughs> I need to start cheating for these. You guys wouldn't even know. Oh, three and two. That's, eh. This is such a weak season, but if we win, we're in. And we do win. Okay, this is ridiculous. Look at how bad this division is. We'll show you both teams here. Regular season. Look at the loss of the Bears. Yikes. Here's the Lions. Uh, luckily, they had a bit of a skid. They won three and then lost two. I mean... We're in it, and that's huge because we don't have our own pick. But holy crap, what a bad season. This is terrible. Derrick Henry, really solid, though. Receiving, just absolutely horrendous. Blocking, let's take a look at the line. We should have done way better than that, but we didn't. Sack totals, any big numbers? Floyd was actually decent. Winovich, not bad for a rookie, I suppose. Pick totals, I'll take it, I guess. Kicking, Prater was decent. And I don't care about any of that. Do we have any awards? I'm trying to think. Maybe Derrick Henry. Uh, we we were number 31 in offensive yards. Eight and eight. Jesus, man. Uh, any award wins at all? Best running back? No. Number five. Damn. Yeah. I mean, it's it's awesome that we made it because that's probably gonna mean some XP. But no, oh, great. The freaking Niners. Can we stop with this? Can we? I, I want it to be over. Hopefully in a good way today. That would be oh. Like, you don't even understand. I have very low hopes, so it's it's not going to be a heartbreak. But if we win, oh my lord. Like, your team being the center of attention for two straight weeks is so cool. It's just so cool. It's nerve-wracking for two weeks, but it's cool. God, I wish this game in real life was at home, too. I don't think it would be snowing because we just had a bunch of snow, but still, it would be uh, it'd be pretty fun. Okay, defense. Oh, okay, defense. <laughs> really, that was the offense's fault, giving up a short field like that. 
I don't know what was the over. We had three overalls on them. I gotta. I keep forgetting that like this is a fantasy. So even though we're not playing well, we do have a better roster than most of the teams. Okay, offense. I am impressed. That is really good. Even if we lose this, which it looks pretty damn likely, I'm impressed. Okay. Okay, the clock is dripping hard here. I mean, actually, they only need a field goal, so as long as they don't let the clock go, which they look like they might. Oh, my God, EA. We'll have to take a look if they even attempted the field goal. If they didn't, we're going to have to just sim it. Nope, they uh, just ran out of time. Nice. Yeah, I would show you the stats, but they don't matter. Well, Jimmy Garoppolo is great. You have the timeout, and you just don't use it. I don't get why the coding is so bad for that. There's a lot of bad things in the game, but that is among one of the worst because it, it does play a factor, you know? They have a whole thing where it's like play the big moments and whatnot. If the AI is going to make terrible decisions in the two-minute warning with timeouts, that's going to completely affect the entire game you played. Like, imagine playing a really good game all the way through, and then something like that happens. And I've had it happen where the AI just makes terrible decisions, and I have to lie and say, oh, damn, one of our players got hurt because they don't want to use their damn timeout. I mean, what? I've never done that. All right, you already know this is going to be a freaking loss. Yeah, we, we are very bad in Sim, even though we're a pretty good team. Uh, we'll show the actual loss here, though. 26 to 14. That's brutal, man, because Jimmy actually played so well in that game, too. It's all right, though. Year one, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. I was expecting better, for sure, but yeah, it's it's just the way it is. Ravens versus the Falcons. Who's going to win this one? It is the Ravens, I think. I mean, I can't really tell. Sometimes it's glitched. Uh, here is the developments. No one went up in development on offense, which is very brutal. Thought maybe Derek could have went up. Defensively, that's a huge one. Zach Cunningham with a superstar development inside stuff. That's a really big one. Uh, and I think that's it. I believe that to be it. Levante David dropped a few, but honestly, I thought it was going to be worse than that. That's that's perfectly fine. You know, I'll take I'll take that as much as I wouldn't want to. I will take it. We have a couple of picks. I don't even know what we need because honestly, like this team seems pretty decent. Jesus, the amount of guys that we're about to lose. By the way, I never look at them. I need to take a look at these. I always, whenever I see this, I always think it's not going to be worth it because they're going to be asking for a lot. Am I right? I mean, some of these aren't that bad. Like, this is like 700k a year, right? Oh, wait, no, it was a one year. Ah, damn, I thought it was a two year. Yeah, my, most of these guys are action, actually asking for a bid. But guys like these, I need to just sign. Like, six-year deal. We need a backup, right? Six-year deal. Boom. Done. We don't have to worry about him forever. Chris Thompson, another guy. We'll, we'll give him a four-year deal. You know, that's just about minimum for all those years. Guys we don't need... But technically, we need them on, their, on our roster. Yeah, guys, start paying attention to this more because you're going to have to pay backups anyways. So at least I'll pay a minimum. So we have pick 11. I think we have a corner that's going to go higher. Th okay, that's not him. <laughs> I was like, um, sir, please. We have a corner, and we also have a free safety that could potentially play corner. I can't trade up that. Ooh, maybe should have traded up there. Okay, thank God. So the Saints. We're going to go to the Saints and see what we can do. Try to get this cornerback. Yeah, our picks don't look super hot, just saying. Sometimes you win, sometimes you just don't win. Oh, do we have the cheese? I'm, I mean, hell, we're going to cheese cheese. If we can cheese cheese, we're going to cheese cheese. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Can we finish the job? We can. Okay, that was close. We uh, we almost made a mistake. Uh, we almost uh, over-traded by a mile uh, what is, who's this? I don't even have this guy on the list, but I probably should. Chris Nixon. Okay, this guy, now I'm starting to, okay, okay. Um, I already have a linebacker, Travis Ransom, but he is a second round pick, and I don't remember the last time a second round pick has went well for me, at linebacker at least. So I'm debating it now. We do have a cornerback, he looks very fast, very decent. Uh, I still expect him to go a lot higher than 30 or whatever late first. I honestly don't know if this guy's good or not. He just looks insane. I'm going to go for him. Okay, hidden, hidden. 22 years old. Looks beastly. I think that's a great pick. Uh, do we need any more than that? I think it was smart. Even though that second round guy could be decent, I think it was a smart decision. Hopefully the corner is there. Oh, oh, our corner is there. Thankfully, that, oof, 
That guy was bad. That was... All right, so Bart McMahon. What's his name? McMahon? It looks like McMahon. Hey, yeah, there you go. I don't know why I sounded like freaking Fonzie. A lot of you guys don't know who that is. I kind of barely know. I know who he is. I, I've never seen it, though. So, you know, it's it's not like I'm some true boomer. Maybe I am, though. Who knows? We do have this DT. He doesn't look super strong, but he might be worth it. Uh, Timmerman. I can't go to 17. Can I? Can I? Oh, God, that was close. That, uh, that was, that was painful, actually. That was, who's this quarterback, by the way? Whoa, that guy's sick. Okay, I don't know what that guy's dev is, but that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go with Will Mitchell. Looks pretty beastly to me. And he is. Hidden development. Uh, we knew that strength was going to be a little bad, but speed is looking good. We might also replace Leonard Floyd with uh, this, was it a third rounder we found? Ooh, Jared Rogers. I had him on my list, I believe. That we are actually going to take right now. Quincy Aldridge. Another amazing pick. Okay, this draft. Ooh. Okay, he's a little, a little rough around the edges, but this draft has been great. Obviously, in a user league, you'd be ecstatic no matter what the dev is because look at how fast he was, and 79 hit power is decent. This wasn't actually a terrible trade for us. 22 and a next year second round pick for 44 and a next year first round pick. I think that was actually a pretty damn fair trade. Deron Logan, maybe a little bit of a reach, but he's got some speed. He's got good top skill. As long as we can get a hitting because I expect him to be a low overall. And that's exactly the case. This guy is probably going to start. I don't know the development. You know, as long as he's star better, which obviously that's the case. He's probably going to be worth starting over Floyd, who had an okay season. Two sevens and LeBlanc for pick 65. That's a huge steal for us yet again. We do have the Steelers next year first round, so at least we have something to work with. We're not completely dead in the water. Jason Mooney. Um... It's really the age. It's really the age, the three cone and the 20 yard shuttle that's getting me going here. But if he's normal dev, this is a huge L. And it's not a huge L. Okay, this guy. This okay, this this guy is definitely a user god. You know, they gave him a good steam and a good injury. His toughness is kind of bad, but good kick return. They gave him really good stuff. 45 run block is meh. But yeah, this guy is a user god. Terrible jumping, but Outside of that, this guy has so much potential. Yes, that's a good trade. That's a good trade. I think that was a good choice, assuming this guy is okay. Oh, my Lord. This draft is insane. By the way, we don't even need this guy. I think I literally just went off of uh, combine grades, like the people that were fast. With, I mean, when, when have I never done that? When have I ever not done that? All right, Nixon. Chris Nixon. This guy could be a steal or just not a good decision at all. Oh, excuse me. I didn't even have him on my freaking list. I almost didn't draft this guy. He wasn't even on my freaking list, man. Don't judge it. Oh, he is not good at freaking coverage. Yeah, hopefully uh, those ratings don't matter too much. I can see why he's a bit of a low overall. He is a bit of a long shot, but not with that uh, the development. Bart McMahon, uh, definitely a starter out the gates. Yeah, star development. That's fine. Totally fine. The safety though could be could be a steal. We'll see. I mean, I'm I'm thinking if any of the DBs were good at de dev, it's definitely the safety. Okay, that's huge. DTs for whatever reason are very commonly star development. So when you get one that's better than that, that's a huge win. Darnell Savage, how are you? I'm I'm not gonna take it back. I'm calling him Darnell. That's a great play. Did I just pass over the D end? I think it did. Here's Mooney. The wide receiver start of element. And he, I still don't regret our decision to trade Westbrook, but yeah, it definitely could have gone better than that. Another star dev on the D end. Another guy that, you know, if I could have made any of them superstar, I think I would have taken away the linebacker. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, a couple of su uh, stars near the end, but a really good draft. One of the best. Top three these, this year, probably. Just consistency-wise. Uh, number one pick overall, they took Heron, Heron Raj, I'm sorry, uh, with the development going to be superstar, that's a really good pick, it's an amazing pick, I don't think there's anyone I want to look at other than quarterbacks, Brock Pryor, they lucked on that one, I think any lower than a 70 probably wouldn't have been hidden, his development is super, ooh, that's a good pick, that's a very good pick, I don't know why, did they really not draft a good quarterback, here's Tony Harden, 
This guy looks really good. Look how fast he is, man. Kind of reminds me of our uh, our Niners quarterback a little bit. What's the development? I hope our Liners quarterback is superstar because that's that's a, a very good thing to have. All right, so that was a massive win. And not only that, but we still have a little bit of trade bait. We have a tiny bit, a smidge of trade bait. I was really debating this move, but he's the best tight end in the game right now. So Floyd, Levante David, and pick 65 for George freaking Kittle. It was between him. It might have been between him or Ronnie Stanley. I think we maybe made the right choice there. Uh, Hayden Hurst, though, still tradable, so see what we can do with that. Maybe go to the Saints. I think the Saints had a really rough roster. Yeah, Drew Locke, and yeah, the Saints are pretty much guaranteed a top 10 pick. You can have a tight end, though, and that, you know, maybe that'll turn you around, right? <laughs> it's funny because they probably have a tight end just as good. Hurst, the second round next year in green for the pick of seven from the Saints. We trade Valhalla and a third round next year for pick 15 from the Browns, but that's unfortunately next year as well. I took what I could get, so. All right, boys, uh, you know the drill. Uh, this is a very costly move, especially with us now only having one first round pick for the next two years and one pick in the first three rounds in the next two years. But we do get Jamal Adams, who once again will probably be playing linebacker for us. Uh, unless Amos, I'm pretty sure Amos is kind of on the smaller, quote-unquote smaller side. Like, he's not as, you know, he's, he's pretty tall. He's not super light, but build-wise, he's not as big. I don't know if he's just less muscle mass. But, I mean, you look at these two, you, you click in. Huh? Hello? <laughs> he's actually pretty big. He's bigger than Jamal! Excuse me! Okay, we're just going to play whoever's... Uh, better block shutter well it still appears that jamal is the guy i know everyone's probably like dude don't get rid of enforcer and reinforce it doesn't really matter because of course it's it's the way it is he looks almost like gyre with that number it just it just gives me gyre vibes number 50 let's go number go number 42 that's like a linebacker safety hybrid number and i know you're probably like oh you just keep doing that move it's like mate i got to it's not my fault we are draft pick situation is not looking good. We trade these three receivers for a fourth next and a fifth next, I believe. It's it's getting desperate out here. I'll, I can't lie. We're moving up. We traded a fourth round pick, these wide receivers, for a third round next year. I don't think we're going to be able to turn it into a first this year, but it is what it is. They're like our little piggy bank. <laughs> I'm, ta I'm making a deposit here on the Redskins. Maybe. A third, a fourth next year, and Smith for 43 this year. Trade two fifths and a six next for a fourth round this year, which might be enough to get us a first round this year. We're doing a lot of work for this, but maybe it'll be worth it. <laughs> fourth next, uh, fourth this, second this, and McIntyre for the Broncos first this, which was like the very last pick you could possibly have. Uh, they have some good receivers, but were they really 32? Unless they, oh, maybe that was someone else's pick. Maybe that was actually the, the Super Bowl winner. But if that's Denver's, I think I'll keep it. I mean, I think it seems all right to me, right? Yeah, it's Denver's. I think it's fine. So we're an 83 overall, uh, 87 offense, 79 defense. We know why, because we did take a bit of a hit technically because we dropped some overalls. However, overall, we definitely have a much brighter future with this team. You know, Logan's, what, 21 years old, no, 22 years old star, but still really decent. Aldridge, superstar, McMahon. Uh, you know, they're both really young start of element. Nixon's an X factor. Jamal Adams is, you know, set for the future. I'm all right with some of the moves we made too. You know, we didn't go super, I mean, we didn't really trade for much players in general, but we didn't have any super common names. And you know, even the offensive line, Ellen Jenkins, we've done a few times now, but no one really crazy common, right? Like Joe, we almost never get your mama, Joe mom. Uh, yeah, but I mean, this is a decent team. If we can make the playoffs again, that would be huge, and I think it would put us on the path to becoming dominant, not just good enough. They're going to give Christian Kirk another shot at it. Did he get it this time? Big shocker. <laughs> so we have some negotiations, uh, one of them being kicker Matt Prater. He's been pretty good for us. I think we would just wait and find out. Oh, another star uh, sneaky player. We'll actually sign him to a decently long deal because, you know, hidden development. That's should get him decently going right all right heads to the playoffs this season no one cares pal 12 and 4 he no 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 oh okay maybe yes yes uh let's take a look at the schedule 
Uh, we obviously did not cheat. I mean, who am I to cheat? Uh, at least in a game, maybe real life. I mean, bad person. Uh, <laughs> level 4 coach Matt LaFleur. Come on, Matt LaFleur. Wipe him with the floor. I don't know. Almost 5,000 yards, 35 touchdowns, 10 picks. It kind of reminds me of our 49ers. <sighs> Gone but not forgotten. In free agency is a 16 overall. Uh, Derrick Henry, 1,455 yards, 14 touchdowns. What? Okay, this is insane. I haven't had something like this in Sim in ages. Christian Kirk keeps failing his breakouts, but that should definitely be enough to get him to superstar, which is big. Sack totals were terrible, so I'm not sure how we went 12-4, and four, but good job, fellas, I suppose. Maybe you do need a new kicker. We go from 31st offense to number one. Is Kittle really that big of a mismatch? I mean, I... I think so, but that's amazing. Oh, look at this, boys. This is insane. A rookie quarterback in the rookie quarterback, Tony Harden, with an MVP. Jeez, man, that is that's ridiculous. That guy is going to be a god. We definitely got to remember. I got to remember. Ooh, defensive rookie of the year. Nice. We got QB of the year as well. Number two, running back. That could be, should be another development up as well. Number two. Number one and number two, wide receiver of the league. Okay, so this was a very good year for us. I definitely got to remember to look at that uh, that Tony Harding guy. Uh, let's take a look at this rest crap. It's probably, oh, you said you were going to and you didn't. Yeah, suck it. It went up. His morale went up. So so playing them is actually a good idea, right? Or is it? do you actually get injury if you don't play them? I don't even know, but our team looks sick. We're in 86 overall, 89-0, 84 defense. Of course, we are a better offensive team, which, you know, that's kind of the way it goes. Okay, Atlanta. The pa Ooh. Packers versus Falcons, and then Aaron Rodgers on the Falcons' side. He won MVP year one. Took a little bit of a step back, just like, you know, both of him and Brady definitely down in overall. So it's going to be an interesting one. Can we at least win a game? I don't care if we go all the way. I just want to win one. End of the game. Okay, they're going to score the first points of the game. Offense, come on. You're the best offense in the league, boys. I'm not saying the defense is playing perfectly, but they are definitely doing enough to win this game without a doubt. There we go. 15 to 14 defense. Like I said, I think defense is doing well enough. Even with that touchdown, they're still doing enough. It's just offense is struggling a bit. Here it is. Here it is. Are we going to run out of clock because this game is the way it is? What the hell happened here? Okay, they do kick the field goal. Finally... The game plays the way it's supposed to. And we're on to the championship game. Jimmy Garoppolo, not bad at all. Please do not let that be real life. Just saying. Derrick Henry, decent. Receiving Kittle with a huge game. Defensively, any big numbers? Nixon with some sacks. Okay, okay. Kicking Prater, perfect. That's what I like to see. If he's perfect in the postseason, maybe we'll give him another year. Eagles, okay. Maybe we aren't that good of a team. Okay, I mean, they're 85 overall. To our 86. Everyone's about 84, 85 now. Of course, we do have probably more youth than most teams, but still, all these teams are very good. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. Yeah, this is going to be a really tough challenge whenever we do Colts. Oh, my. This Tony Hart guy taking over the damn league. Hopefully, we get to see him take over the league, though, because I would like to see us play against him. There you go, Derek. Run some dudes over. Okay, this time... You know, offense is still playing poorly, but uh, defense did start off really bad. Come on, offense. Wake it up. You still got a chance. You still, even right now, you have a chance. Defense with the turnover. Six-point deficit. Oh, come on, defense. You can't take the ball away and then play like that. Giving false hope. We are running out of time. What's the situation here? Second down. I'm going to come in. We need to, we need to freaking... Ugh. Kittle's wearing number 40. I'm going to cry. Look at Hopkins. He is disgusting. He is filthy. By the way, why are they wearing Color Rush in the championship? Is it Color Rush? It looks like Color Rush, kind of. It has to be Color Rush. Here it is. The season on the line. I'll use her as Amos, I guess. Play action off the edge. Nixon. Mooney. Not super fast, but maybe super clutch. Nope. <laughs> nope, not a chance. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, weirdo. If we can't block this, I don't know what, like, who could. Perfect blocking. Had to wait. Oh, come on, Kirk. I had to wait because the way he was running there, the safety could have drawn down. Maybe I was a little too cautious, but I, I think we made the right choice there. 
Good play. Not a, not a pick play, but almost set up like a pick play with uh, Kittle. Come on, hurry up. Guys. Oh, my Lord. Let him set up. There you go, Kittle. Better than freaking Niners, Kittle. Hopkins, he's the guy. Oh, you got to catch that hop. This is to tie up the game for the Super Bowl. Is Derrick Henry clutch enough? Is he clutch enough? Just going to take it. Oh, it's a hold too. Damn. I'm just glad it wasn't a freaking 10-second. Uh, Thankfully, the clock wasn't running. Oh, okay, dudes. These are the guys that are in in the clutch. Okay, dude. Jimmy, no! That was an amazing route. That was almost the sickest play I've ever had. All right, Kittle. Can I get Henry blocking? Looks like I can. I don't think I can get Kirk blocking, though. All right, Hopkins. Could be you, dude. And we lost the game. Wow, man. They got us with a four-man rush. Leonard with three and a half. Damn, bro, we did not block that. That's that's insane. Anyways, we definitely didn't deserve to win. Jimmy Garoppolo was just not good. You know, without us playing, he would have been like 150 yards. Damn, that really sucks, man. I thought that was our season. I really did, but clearly not. Defensively, we gave up three and a half there. Ugh. Yikes. It's a young team, though, so obviously I didn't really expect to win it this early. See what kind of dev ups we get, though. Derrick Henry, Kirk... Maybe Jimmy Garoppolo even. Pro Bowl, I would assume we have a few, but I'm not really too worried about it. And then here we are. So let's take a look at our development ups. We got Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, we got some big ones on offense. We got Jimmy Garoppolo with uh, inside Deadeye and pocket Deadeye insane abilities. And then, of course, Derrick Henry joins the fray. Uh, how to save a life. Not a bad uh, set of abilities. Damn it, wrong thing. Did I just... I would have sucked if I would have clicked that. Uh, progression history, superstar development, he has slot apprentice, he is super beastly now. Looking at the defensive side of the ball, any upgrades? Cunningham, even moving out to right outside linebacker, upgraded again! Superstar X-Factor this time, and I believe that to be it, but that is an amazing set of abilities, or upgrades on the season. Yeah, this team is definitely primed to get it done next season. I'm really hoping we can win it. Not only because I like to have the four-year, uh, you know, beastlies. I'm going to get him just one more. One more, and then we'll be uh, full run stop ahead. Yeah, there we go. That's all I wanted. But, yeah, this team is uh, looking very good. This is this is a Super Bowl team next year for sure. I mean, it almost was this year. Hell. The first things first, let's see who wins the Super Bowl. The Eagles look pretty damn potent, so they might actually pull this off, which they... Wow. Okay, they... Uh... Yeah, this team's pretty good. The Eagles just smoked them. Where the hell... How in the world? 44 to 0. Damn, Harden. Not your year. Even though it was literally all your year. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this quarterback, because that guy, he kinda swept the league there a bit. Oh my god. Oh my lord. He went from a 70 whatever to 94 overall. Now, of course, his deep accuracy is trash. He went up in speed, I believe. And Excel, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was 80... If I'm not mistaken... I think he was, went up a lot. I think he was 88, 90, 84. If I'm not mistaken. Very beast. Uh, he's built as a scrambler, so they kind of ruined him at that one for... The ability of escape artist, but still really good player. Damn. I still don't think we'll have any big name free agents. Where's that uh, start of element guy? Here he is. Oh yeah, he went up quite a bit. I'll give him a seven-year deal. <laughs> Welcome to the team forever, pal. Damn, Prater dropped hard. What was his regression? Three, six kick power. They're like, nah, mate, you don't get one drop of it. You drop twice. Two different times you're going to drop kick power, pal. That's how bad you've gotten. Damn, son, yeah, we need a new kicker. So I would assume some of the re-signings would happen next year. Oh, hello, Will Lutz. Welcome to the squad, pal. I didn't even think about it. We don't even have much of a draft to work with. Obviously, we don't really need it. We have a great team, but it's still like something. Offensive line's actually pretty good now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we don't really need much. Defense, perhaps? 
Maybe look for another DT yet again. Pass rusher, perhaps. Maybe get lucky with like a superstar or better. But overall, it's just keep playing. You know, we've got Bolden backing up Earl, who's still going strong. 88 overall. Probably his final year, but still looking pretty good. We got Elliot and Lutz. We're probably going to put one of them at Punter. Just because Punter seems to be quite challenging to get in this. All right, here we are with our second draft pick 11. Once again, we have pretty much everything locked. So other than maybe taking a look at QB in the future, just in case there's some development or some some drop, I think we're just going to be looking for the future, which we have a lot of options here. Look at this guy, by the way. Pretty beast, pretty beast. But I don't think we need wide receiver right now. I think we actually did really well after last season, Kurt going up to superstar and whatnot. So I think it's probably going to be another DB to potentially cover our losses at Earl with Earl, but I don't know. I mean, maybe offensive lineman instead. You have McPherson. You have Adam Coyle. No, oh, damn it, I didn't mean to take him off. For some reason, I thought I'd press Y and he would be higher on the list, which makes no sense. Uh, DT or tackle. I know the clock's running. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, man, this tackle looks good, but so does the DT. Evan Clayton. He's a late first versus Coyle, who is a mid. What about the left tackle? Ooh, there's some linemen here. Left tackle, though. You have two DTs. This one. That one's 21. This one's 21. I think we're going to go with the DT. I think we need a DT more. I'm not mad. I am not mad. Even though he's probably going to be star, I'm not mad. Look how fast he is, too. Yeah, we made the right decision. We definitely made the right decision. Can we move down a bit, though? The other DT was not bad either. Coil. Ooh, maybe we didn't make the right decision. Yeah, those guys are very good. Glenn goes at, what, 15 there? If Glenn was a, what, mid-first, I believe? We could probably get to 20 if we're lucky. Nope, we can't. Damn it. 77 overall, too. We would have had a really good draft. However, I don't think we can trade up. We do not have the assets for that. We have another right tackle late. He looks okay. We'll, uh... We'll just trade this down for a next year pick. I don't know when the hell we got Jojuan Williams, but 25 Jojuan and for the next year first round from the Bears. Because we don't have any picks left, but we'll uh, we'll solve that. Damn, did the Redskins really have the best pick? We tried so hard to get theirs too. Damn. Hey, okay, we trade these guys for a fifth round. Maybe trade that fifth round in a seventh with the Redskins if we're lucky. No one wants to make a trade, so we're just going to go to 32. If he's there, he's there. If he's not, oh well. I don't want to waste any more time on it. I hope he's there just to make everyone look bad. Of course he's not there. Damn it. All right, on to the draft recap. Let's see what the development is of the... Was it just one player we grabbed? I think it might have been only one player. We do have three first rounds coming up, though, I believe. So Evan Clayton, of course, an amazing player. Uh, and the development is... Okay, superstar. I don't know what Damon dropped to because maybe there was some morale holding him up, but... Yeah, I don't even care about the tackle and all that. I know they were high overalls, but there was not much you could do to get better than what we just did. Uh, what is Damon's overall? If he can still play, I'm going to keep him. But if he can't, then see you later. Hmm, I'm debating this because the other guy is... Okay, what's... Is there... Oh, he's so good still, though. Very good. Still the best run stopper in the league, I'd say, with that overall contract. He needs a contract somewhat soon, but I think... I think we're going to keep him here for now because I think we could probably turn this into a Super Bowl squad with the best available. Mm, I don't know. Clayton's very good too already. Nah, we're going to trade him. Clayton's, Clayton's really good. If Clayton was star, I would. But I would keep him. You know, I'd keep Damon, but I nah, can't. I could still get something nice for Damon as well. He was a good pick though. You know, for an older guy, he lasts a lot. Lasts a lot longer than you'd expect, which is, you know, something you could definitely tribute to like a sex joke as well if you really want to but i'm personally not going to go that route even though i gave you all the tools to do so yourselves already slapping all the next year stuff away of course our own picks not really worth much damon harrison our first and third next for pick one projection from the redskins if that's even top five it's definitely worth it if not maybe they actually won one over on us yeah just saying all right, here is the starting roster going into year three. We came close last season. Maybe should have won it, and we didn't. However, we did barely lose to a team that did win the Super Bowl 44 to zero. So I guess at the end of the day, it's still pretty good. Uh, Bolden priming himself up to replace Earl Thomas soon enough. I'm sorry, Earl. It's just, it's just gonna happen. Three X Factor linebackers, which is amazing. 
and let's, I mean, hell, let's do it. We got some re-signings. Elton Jenkins are going to give him that massive deal. This isn't, a, this isn't a fun time in a fantasy. This is where you have to sign all your expensive players. Titus, okay, that's someone we could definitely afford. A five-year deal worth 30 mil. That's a steal for us. Anyone else? No one else? Just the linemen? I mean, that's all right. Try Turner. That's expensive, but I think it's worth it. Headed to the playoffs, and this is a shocking one because we miss. We go 8-8 eight and eight with a 90 overall roster. We lost six straight games. Six of them. I am beyond disappointed, and you know damn well it is time to show you how bullcrap this game is. Not even going to say the team overalls, not going to say the team names. Just going to show you. You you make your assessments. Oh, damn. Not bad. Uh, you, you know, that, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Take a look at our season, though, stats-wise. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, pretty much on par for last season. Slightly less, you know. Maybe Derrick Henry was a little bit worse. Receiving slightly worse, but still really good. Yeah, and nothing crazy bad. It's not like there's some insane drop-off. Pass rush was even better than last year, which is obviously not hard to do because we're just terrible. Kicking, 13%. I mean, there's not... I don't know. We go from number one offense to five and number 23 defense to 20. So we did drop a little bit in fairness, but still, man, really? We didn't make the playoffs. By the way, why are we such a bad defense? We're a good team. I don't get it. I... I just don't know. Christian Kirk was the best wide receiver. I don't care about the rest of the awards, honestly. Well, I think we're going to give it one final season. And if the game still doesn't want to reward us for how good of a roster we are, fair enough. It's on them. Let this record show. Garoppolo and Kirk are now X-Factors. So, must have been a really bad season, huh? The two uh, main playmakers on the team both went up to Superstar X-Factor. Man, these these guys suck. Well, the abilities really do suck, though, in fairness. What's his, his pro reads? Ugh. I hate that, man. That is so bad. Uh, defensively, Aldridge does not go up. No one went up on defense, to my knowledge. We do have to get rid of Earl, so we are going to take a little bit of a hit there. But overall, unless we trade for some like big-name pass rusher, there's not a whole lot we can do, man. Just saying. Giants win over the Bengals. I don't know what overalls each team were, but... It is what it is. I just don't really care. So we have how much money? 67 mil. The only guys I can really see being there, maybe some O-line. Free agency, like we said, 67 mil. Uh, Philip Lindsay, some running backs, kind of, you know, same difference. Running backs, O-line, about the same positions that uh, you'll see a lot of. Trade pick 10 and Blacknall for first pick overall. Hopefully we can use that to trade for an actual player. I wanted to trade Earl instead, but it was just not enough. Pick one, Winovich and Thune for TJ Watt, who of course will be our new pass rusher at right end. Hopefully that actually gives us some pass rush because our pass rush is terrible right now. And I know it was the youngster that's played worse, but he has a lot more time left on him. 24 versus 26. So hopefully, no promises, but hopefully we're a better team. All right, we got to do it. Earl Thomas, a fourth round for Quentin Nelson. It's it's go time. Here is the offense looking a lot better. Uh, just way better this year. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Obviously, we have the draft still. I don't know what the hell we need, but maybe we look at safety anyways. I'm trying to think. So DeAndre Hopkins, he's what, 30 now? That's still plenty. He's got like two more years before he starts proper regressing. Offensive line maybe for Tri Turner. Because obviously we have Joe. Who, do, who are we missing here? Somebody's not starting. Ah, Howard. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll look at free safety. But overall, not really much we can do to get better. All right, here we are headed to the draft. We have... Ooh, okay. A lot better than that. A uh, couple wide receivers look like they went. Still a couple more wide receivers to go. Uh, this Dobbs guy looks absolutely insane, so we're going to draft him now. And even if he isn't a great safety, we could just play him at corner anyways. Oof, 78 overall hidden. This guy is quite the good. Another wide receiver ended up going. There's still more wide receivers. We do have D uh, Derek Kirkman. He's like a beastly catcher, but I don't know if he's actually worth... Like, is he better than this guy? 
Honestly, I don't even know. Like, I'd rather just trade down. Yeah, I don't even, we don't need wide receiver. I'm just going to trade down for next year, which we m will not have a next year, no matter what happens. But still, just in case we come back to this, which, once again, we will not do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, just in case, though, we'll, uh, we'll at least have something there. The Redskins, what pick were they? Were they actually number top five? I think they were a top five pick, right? Okay, dudes. But apparently that's enough. Nah, I don't care. We got our trade. What do they get? Ugh. Bust. All right, let's see how pick four went for us. Of course, super fast and really good development. Probably going to be star. Oh. Okay, superstar, but still amazing. I don't know why we get this stupid whole day to reorder glitch. It just pisses me off. It's all the stupid small things in this game. Waddle. Damn. That guy looks very good. Let's take a look at his development. It is a oh, star, but still a really good player. What about that wide receiver we were going to go with? Where is he? Kirkland went down to number 13. 73 overall only, but once again, hidden. Really decent jump ball receiver. Aggressive catch, possession catch, fight for yards. Uh, really decent uh, jump ball receiver. Question is, what is that development looking like? It is... Ooh, superstar. Maybe we, we should have taken him as well. There's actually not much to do, so we're just going to take a look at the uh, the roster, which, you know, not changed too much. Defensively, though, we do have Dobbs playing free safety. Corners are literally the same, but we do now have TJ Watt playing the right end spot. Finesse specialist. I mean, this should be a better performance on defense, which overall should translate to a playoff berth again. Maybe the Super Bowl this time? Come on. So we got some re-signings. Uh, Christian Kirk is on the top of the list, and he obviously deserves it. He's been killing it for us. X-Factor. I'm honestly surprised he actually became one. Brian Mur or Byron Murphy, a little disappointing, but it could have been worse. He's still going strong. He's still pretty damn young. Jonah Williams, apparently he's playing center for us. I forgot about that. We'll give him a six-year deal. Yeah, we can afford all these re-signings. This is, this is all right. Now, Amos, on the other hand, I don't know. Maybe we can do a one-year if we're lucky. All right, heads to the playoffs, which we're not in. 88, nice. This game is just so good. It is is a flawless game. 92. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Jimmy Garoppolo played worse. So did Henry. We're playing worse, even though we're getting better every year. Okay. What? Watch T.J. Watt. Nah, eh, 11 and a half. He actually did pretty well. I thought he was going to be terrible. I don't care about the awards. I'm going to be egotistical again. Quickly run through all of the overalls just so you can see how bad it is. Okay, we've seen the highest is 83. Okay, the Vikings 85. 86 Bengals. 86 Dolphins. I mean, you can see that most of these teams are 83 or less. We're 92. Like, that is massive over every other team. We're going to the Super Bowl. We're going to see who wins, and then I'm done. I'm just done. Great. So if this isn't going to be a premonition of how today is going to go, great stuff. <laughs> the Falcons win the Super Bowl over the Dolphins. And, yeah, that's going to be the video. If you have any ideas, you know, similar to this, you're like, hey, do a fantasy draft, but you have to draft, and you can only take players with, like, 88 speed or less or something, you know, some weird idea, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, tomorrow will be week one of our 49ers franchise with the new rookie quarterback. How is it going to go? I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so we'll find out that soon. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe, like, and the video if you liked it. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome PKer. Maybe check out my second channel, PKer Plays. Do a lot of fun stuff on that channel. And, of course, on this channel, if you're new, a lot of franchise. Do a little bit of Super Star KO here and there. And, yeah, thanks for watching, as always. Please, Packers, do this thing, man. <laughs> Anyways, hope we come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!